And we are already into November. Welcome to November 1st. Time is freaking flying. Holy shit. Like, if you think about it, Christmas is only like 55 days away. Freak sakes. It's kind of dicked. Kind of like this video, which is probably also dicked. But welcome to my vlog anyway, people. So YouTube seems to be working fine today. I have no idea what the hell was going on yesterday. Oreo just let out a bark, but I don't see anybody outside. Not a big deal. Oh man, what a night, what a night, what a night, what a night. Yeah, I didn't do anything last night after I terminated the vlog. I laid down in bed and freaking watched uh, Star Trek and passed out. I don't know if any of you out there ever heard of this program called the Handbrake. It basically converts media files over to more common formats like MP4, M4V, so you can use them on like an iPad or an Android tablet, whatever. Ever. And uh, what I've been doing is my recordings from Grand Theft Auto 5, I've been hand breaking them because by default they're in the streaming format, TS, and I've been converting them to MP4 using Handbrake because sometimes I can load these TS files into Sony Vegas and show work and then other times I'll load these these streamable formats into Sony Vegas and Sony Vegas just locks right up and won't talk to the file so but since I ha hand broke this one here this HD PVR2 which was uh, this this one oh shit this 122 I hand broke it um, it takes a lot longer like it's only a 15 minute video and it's gonna take 27 minutes for it to uh, fire out my video so that's um, kind of upsetting, but whatever. So we're going to let that go through, and uh, yeah, we have four rendered online videos. But it takes a lot longer when I hand break them than when I just use them raw to edit. Not quite sure what's going on there, but whatever. As long as it works and there's audio, then I don't care. Not a big deal. No, I'm just making my last Keurig. Literally my last Keurig. I'm out. Gonna have to go do some shopping tomorrow and pick up some more yeah, coffee cups. Mind you, I could just fire up the five round percolator over here, but I need to do some more shopping because I want to buy stuff to make sandwiches and things for work because, uh, yeah, having lunch at work is probably a good idea. But on the topic of e-cigarettes, I had somebody post a comment the other day and, well, I deleted the comment and blocked the guy because his approach is rather, you know, uh, immature and, you know, just lame. But anyway, he commented instead that I... I'm lying about quitting smoking. I, I'm still smoking cigarettes and stuff. And the only idea, only reason why I can think he thinks that is because not too long ago, Bloke dropped a video of over at Inwoods, and there I am in the video with a cigarette in my hand. But the thing is, is that video is so freaking old. Like, I, I, I was in Inwoods, um, uh, well, three weeks ago. Yeah, three weeks ago this Saturday is when I was in Inwoods because that's my last time I had my cigarette. And I had, I finished my pack off and then uh, 200M Monster wanted to do a video, which I haven't seen it up on YouTube yet, so I don't know, maybe he didn't like the clip and threw it in the garbage. But um, he wanted to do a video of us smoking together as a big, big thanks for fixing his laptop and stuff. So I was like, all right, whatever, but I don't have any cigarettes. I'm off the cigarettes now. I quit and he goes, well, here, take one. So that was the last cigarette I had. Last cigarette I ever smoked was from 200M Monster at about 5 o'clock on a Saturday. So, and, but because Bloke dropped this video yesterday, and this old, 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 like three week old footage that he used of at the track and stuff, um, people are thinking, oh, he's lying, he's still in the cigarettes, you know, I just saw him in Inwood smoking. Okay, well, Inwood's, guys, is an eight hour drive from here, seven to eight hour drive. So, if I was smoking cigarettes in Inwood's, but I, while I was, you know, at work and stuff and on the weekends and things, keep in mind my videos are only about 24 hours old. When you see a vlog go up, like this vlog here going up on Saturday, this is what happened on Friday. That's the way I do it. You know, I film it, edit, upload, and then you guys get to watch what I did the previous day before, like, like on the following day. And uh, yeah, I'm off the cigarettes, but honestly, if you don't believe me, I could care less, you know? For me, quitting smoking is something I wanted to do. It's not something I'm doing because the YouTube fan base is like, Guy, you need to quit smoking cigarettes. They're bad for you. Do it. And then, you know, one day I start vaporizing. And then, you know, Buddy's like, hey, hey, I made him do that. He's like my little puppet. Wrong. I've been wanting to quit smoking for a long tr time. I've tried everything possible. And so far, the only thing that's working is the vape. Now, one thing I can tell you guys, if you do get into vaping, 
drink lots and lots of water. Not pop, not coffee, drink water. Reason being is, is if you're using that PGVG, well, that's obviously what you're using, you're gonna notice your throat dries out really quick because the PG stuff, that's what they use in hospitals and drippers for dehydrating, uh, basically dehydrating infected cells and stuff so you can dehydrate and kill them. So you need to make sure you're drinking lots of water and staying, you know, well, uh, well hydrated while vaping. That's what you need to do. But honestly, to anybody out there who thinks that I didn't quit smoking, that I'm lying to you, whatevs, believe what you want. I really could care less. I know I quit smoking. You know, I st only smoking peripherals I have around here to this date is lighters. That's it, lighters. I threw out all the ashtrays except for the one that I got from Redneck Nessa, and I'm good to go. Like I'm, I'm off the cigarettes. So frig it. I think there was confusion because of Bloke's video, but whatever. Buddy never said, he's like, oh, I got proof that you're still smoking cigarettes. I got proof. And I'm like, whatevs, you're an idiot. Have a nice day, bud. You know, like, what's it to you guys as the audience, what I do? That's, that's my big question. Smoking cigarettes, if I was still smoking cigarettes, affect your life. How does myself liking to have beer affect your life? How does myself being a little bit rounder around the gut area affect your life it doesn't you know I'm just making videos putting them up on YouTube's and uh, just going with it but apparently I guess it does affect some people's lives because holy shit you know holy shit that's all I gotta say but whatever just the fact that uh, obviously buddy watched the entire video and then went and commented uh, thanks for the view <laughs> thanks for the view because that's all I gotta say about that. But uh, anyway, I'm loving the vape. This is the uh, best way I found to quit smoking. Doesn't work for everybody though. Doesn't work for everybody. My boss at work, he tried vaping. Uh, he was on it for about four weeks and he's back on the cigarettes. He just, not even four weeks, I think he did it for two weeks and he's back on the cigarettes. He just, I think he said he broke his shit. Like he broke, um, I know he's gonna give me all of his, uh, his vape, give, uh, vape junk because he's not going to use it and he's got uh, an Inokin Eye Taste SVD uh, kind of looks like this thing, the Vamo so, but it's by Inokin, or Inokin, I'm not sure how you pronounce that I got a fan going in here, eh, so but, uh, let me kill that fan but he's got that, but the problem is is he bought a Kranger Pro Tank too as well and I guess it fell over, banged on a desk and, um, the threading the 510 threading on the bottom here broke off inside the device so he wasn't able to extract it and he doesn't know what to do to get it out so he told me he's like if you want it you think you can fix it take it so right on so I'll have two mods three 18 650 batteries and uh, that'll be pretty awesome I can fix that thing up and then put a maybe a VV Nova tank onto it and then just chatch the frig out of that sometimes too that'd be alright Alright guys, well it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon and I kept forgetting to do something I wanted to do. Basically I got these cigars here that I, uh, I promised the guy at work I'd bring to him. They're uh, Santa Ana's. They were uh, 45 Dominican pesos or whatever. Purchased from Disco Coco. Co. Disco Coco. Yeah. This was purchased in Dominican when uh, we were there in March. Unopened. Completely sealed. Not only is the box sealed. It's actually a wooden box too. It's not some cardboard laminated. It's actually a really good construction box. And there's what? Ten of them in there? Yeah, there's ten cigars in there. Santa Ana's. Plus, I have this kit here which was sent to me by KB1NYD which I can't open one-handed. I'll have to put the camera down. Now, there was five cigars in here but I did smoke one uh, last year in the winter in the garage there was a video of vlog I did where it starts off and I'm sitting there in one of those those green lawn chairs I have out there and I'm chatting on one of these and uh, talking to you guys about things and there's snow on the ground and stuff so I had the um, the heater going the uh, what the hell kerosene heater going and yeah so I got four of these ten of these plus three Cubans in the uh, freezer I'm bringing all these with me to work. I'm giving them to a co-worker there because uh, he started smoking cigars. And I just started shit my pants. But um, he buys cigars like crazy. He's got a, what do you call it, a humidor I think it was. And uh, he can put them in the humidor and make them better. And st I, don't, I don't really know. So I promised him I'd bring them in because I'm not going to smoke them anymore because I'm big time on the vape. And uh, yeah, so... Only thing he's not getting from me, because I really like it, 
is this case. Like, I don't know if this foam stuff comes out or it's glued in there. But I could use this to, like, you know, you know, maybe. Oh, it's just a little bit too long. But if I take the dripper tip off, not a problem. You know, I, I could put, uh, put vapes in there, you know. I could totally use this for traveling and things and, 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 and put bottles of fluid in it and, and then wrap it up and be like, yeah, even though it says Thompson 1950 Co Ink, who cares? Um, you can totally put stuff in there. And I like this. So I'm going to keep the case. He can have the death darts. Well, it's friggin' 3.30, and uh, we're going to head off to work and uh, get this shift over with. So I'll talk to you guys tonight when I get back. So until then, peace of the frig out. And that, my friends, is a completed eight-hour shift. It is currently midnight. I am back home. Alrighty, well, now that I'm home, I can edit up more Grand Theft Autos. Also, the weekend is here. Yay, the weekend! That means hopefully tomorrow I can get my hair cut. So a lot of you have been asking why I shit myself so much. No. A lot of you have been asking about Flyer Day and uh, if I'm going to re be doing Flyer Day anymore. Well, even though I said that, uh, well, I said that last Friday that I'm not doing Flyer Day anymore because uh, honestly the flyers don't affect a lot of people out there, but people still like to see the price differences between here and there. So, I'm thinking that maybe it's time for... Flyer day, flyer day, gotta look at sales on flyer day. See what kind of deals they have in the paper. Flyer day, flyer day, gotta look at sales on flyer day. See what kind of deals they have in the paper. Flyer day, flyer day, yeah. Flyer day, flyer day, yeah. All the sales, all the sales, so much sales, love the sales. That's right, we're bringing back Flyer Day. Let's do this. Alrighty, so we're gonna start off with the source. Yup, yup, the source. No catch. Oh, they got the I want that there. Already talking about Christmas. Frig sakes, super cheap looking and priced laptop here. Yup. Well, it looks like this is coming out in a couple days. Wait, when's this coming out? This game's coming out on the 5th. But I don't think the Xbox One's coming out on the 5th. Ah, who knows. Oh, there it is. Available on November 22nd. Don't really give a shit. Holy, that's a good deal on those headphones. Yeah. That'd be awesome for my gameplays with Adrian on the, uh, the PS3. Just saying. Oh, perfect for charging up the vape tech. Just saying. Well, that's kind of a neat case for your tablet. Not exactly sure where that hooks onto. Maybe onto the rearview mirror or something. Cool. Wonder if these sound better than the Sony's. Yeah, I'm thinking that's the tablet I want right there, the Samsung Galaxy Tab 3, or the Note, one of those two. They kind of look like classic Xboxes, but, uh, or Xbox 360s, sorry. Except for their Bluetooth speakers. Yep. Oh, they lowered the price on the Xbox 360 to 179 now. Not too bad. Oh, where were these speakers when I was looking for them? Frig sakes. Instead, I bought these ones. Would have rather have these ones. For those times when you just can't get your HDMI to fit, there's always an adapter over at the source. When you want to take a video and have it blur, buy a Sony camera and it'll get the job done. That didn't rhyme. Yeah, tripods. Oh, where were these speakers when I was shopping for speakers? Look at these. They got little like light bulbs and shit and they distract you from doing what you're doing. Oh, it's like a really cheap version of the AR drone. Nice. Uh, I thought these only came in 32 and 64 gig. Okay. Sweet, I guess. Oh, coming out same time as the Xbox? Is that right? Oh, no. It's coming out before the Xbox. Well, son of a shit. Alright, well, moving on to food basics. Much more for less mania. Oh, they got their pop on sale again. Two bucks for a uh, freaking bullet pack. Six, seven, ten mils. Select a variety. I don't drink pop, so could care less. Oh, but I definitely love broccoli. And 88 cents a pound? Friggin' right. I'm gonna buy a shit ton oh, of that. Maybe I should buy some chicken. Maybe I should buy some chicken and do barbecue chicken again this weekend. Frig yeah. Oh crap, dinner's on sale, but I'd rather go to the buck store because I can get two boxes for a buck. 
Gatorade, six for five dollars. Me. Oh, Mike Smart has the exact same deal happening. Mmm, gravy. <laughs> Very soon I'm gonna have to buy this stuff again. Cause I'm getting a kit, then I'm getting a kit, then I'm getting a kit, then meow, 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 meow. Oh my god, it's a Kinder Advent Calendar. <laughs> I sure do love baloney, I sure do love baloney, 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 yummy. Oh yeah, they finally got the pogos back, I freaking love pogos. I need to buy some tuna so I can make my tuna noodle casserole, which is basically crab dinner with a can of tuna in it. Freaking love that kind. Ooh. I like this bread. Alrighty, let's move on to Canadian Tire and see what kind of bullshit they have. For freak's sakes, they already have Christmas trees for sale. <laughs> oh, lights in a snap. Probably all LED. Yeah, yeah, they're LED. Yeah, yeah, no. No, it's only November. No. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. You go melt. Son of a bitch. Too early. Son of a bitch. Kind of looks like Batman's body armor. I'd like to buy one of these for my bedroom, and then I can just sit there and ride the fuck out of it while I watch YouTube videos. That'd be kind of fun. Pew, 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 pew. Oh my god, it's a roly blowy. It's another roly blowy. It's another roly blowy. It's a bunch of roly blowies, and they're really, really expensive. Yeah! Wow, 40 inch RCA TV for like. 349 bucks. That's not bad. 42 inch for 379. Or they have a 23 inch for 179. Now you can get blowjob in a can or DVDRs at Crappy Tire. Skeetly douche. Ew, it's like a bubble gum machine. Remember this one time I bought Oreo one of these and he still insisted on using my bed. It's a robotic pushy sucky. It's a rolly sucky. Self automated. I'd like to get one of these things for downstairs though. One of these like electric friggin' fireplace jobbies. That's a weird type of heater. This one right here for $89. $71.99, sorry. You're different. I have one of these in the garage. I don't find they're as effective as they state. That's what I need for the next live show is like a table or something, maybe. Something I don't need anymore because I vape, 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 vape it on the ego C. Yeah, buddy. That's kind of cool. It's a cordless engraving tool. Neat. Kind of want one like this. $47.99. Has the booster pack. Has a dual, a dual power inflator and all that shit. I kind of want that. Or is that just an air pump? I don't think it's got a battery. It might. I don't know. I don't know. I kind of want that though. Mind you, that one there is badass. Gah! Alrighty, well I'm going to take a look at Fresh Co. Because sometimes I shop there and we'll see what kind of deals they have. Holy shit, a fresh whole chicken for six bucks. I'm not exactly sure how I cook that. But I'm sure I could find a thing on the internet. Well, and they got their pop on sale for three thirty-three for Pepsi and Coke cans, twelve pack. Me, they got some instant coffee on sale. I'm tempted to buy some of this to bring to work because I don't mind drinking instant coffee at work. So, just tempted to buy this, and that'll last me a little while. Yop 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 yop. Like Adrian would say, I sure do love Doritos. Oh, pizza pops. Love those kind. Toaster strudels. Huh. Pizza pops. Love those kind. Mmm, fresh ocean perch fillets. Do they come with the cutting board? That'd be nice. Oreo loves these. Oh, that's the dry food. He likes the wet food. Ayo go. Ayo go. Ayo, 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 ayo go. Mmm, fita. Fita, 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 fita. It's the pocketless pita. Uh, doesn't that just make it bread? Mmm, Ontario green cabbage. It's not Manitoba green cabbage, cabbage, it's Ontario green cabbage. 
not even that Alberta kind, or the Saskatchewan kind, it's the Ontario kind. You can make guacamole. Alrighty, let's move on to Future Shop. Exciting stuff. Conquer Epic Savings. Oh. 200 bucks for a DSXL? Oh, yeah. See, so this is what's stupid. They have the PS3 12, 12 gig console. Mind you, you can put a hard drive in it probably, but 200 bucks, right? And then if you do some research for like. An extra 60 bucks, you can get the PS3, a game, a controller, with a bigger hard drive. <sighs> I don't get it. Adrian bought some headphones. They're Turtle Beach, but I don't see them here unless it's this one here, the P21. Not sure. That's a pretty cheap computer. Not too bad, not too bad. You know what my big complaint is about these new iMacs? Why the fuck would they put the SD card slot in the back? That means every time you want to plug in a SD card to do any editing, you gotta go behind the unit and try and find the frickin' hole, stab the some bitch in there, and get it done. That was a stupid design flaw on their part, but I guess they wanted to make it super thin and stuff, and that's the only way they could figure out how to do it. But it's stupid. They should have put the SD card in the base. Yeah. Holy shit, that's Bill's T Max's webcam. That thing's freaking cheap. I should buy two of those for the next live show. Yep a dip. Well, there's the tablet Dad wants to get. And apparently it's water resistant. Huh. But that's the one he wants right there. 10.1 inch Sony Xperia. Has the uh, same processor that my phone has and probably has a better video card than my phone because it's got a lot more screen real estate to deal with. But yeah, he wants that. I don't really want the 7 inch. I want the either 8 or 10 inch tablet. But uh, that is pretty nice though. Holy shit, that thing's on sale big time on a two year plan. Eh? 250 bucks? Frig yeah. Anyway, people, that is all I have for flyers. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Bringing back Flyer Day. A lot of people were complaining that it was gone and stuff and wanted it back. So you ask, you shall receive. And there you have it. It's just kind of a piss off when you see all those Christmas adverts for like Christmas trees and shit like just yesterday was Halloween you know and and kids going out and freaking trick-or-treating and you know carving pumpkins and stuff and now they already have like the freaking Christmas decorations and shit out like holy shit like wait two weeks or something but no 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 rush 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 you know get her done go out and buy your ornaments now and get that tree up and decorate the shit out of it fuck that nonsense so as per a lot of you mentioning I went ahead and steeped the ice cap and you know what it tastes a hell of a lot better now still tastes like a pot of coffee but it has a little bit of sweetener into it so it's not too bad not too bad um, I think I need to put a new coil into this uh, burner because She's not, she's not vaping right. I'm getting a lot of burning taste. And uh, I don't know if the camera's going to be able to pick it up, but if you look inside there, those wicks are looking pretty fucking rough. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're looking pretty rough, so. Anyway, I just finished the whole flyer day while I filmed it. I was able to render up one video for Grand Theft Auto Online. I don't know why my computer's totally frickin' choochin' on its nads, but it is. It's like running like a bucket of shit right now. Something in the background's just frickin' dominating the, uh, the bandwidth or the frickin' processor or some shit. I'm gonna check my task manager and just see if I have some process in the background totally, totally poning. No, no, nothing in the background totally poning my processor. Not sure why she's running like a friggin' piece of shit, but she is, but whatevs. So I'm gonna finish rendering these all off, because there's other video games I want to play. And, uh, get ready for scaping games and stuff, and plus there's some more tutorials I want to do for the Northern Tech, and, well, there's always the vlogs every day, right? So, I friggin' love YouTube. <laughs> I love it. I love making the videos. It's fun. I have fun doing it. If I didn't have fun, I wouldn't do it, right? Right. Anyway, guys, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm going to call her quits for tonight and carry on tomorrow. So hopefully you enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, click that like button. 
Uh, any questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. And until next time, people, keep on blogging.